Hey everybody, Aaron from Beansprout here. I've got a cool little instrument to show you today. Um, but before that, I want to talk a little bit about the process. Um, it reminds me of uh, one of my college professors, Dr. Barrett. She taught us that uh, when teaching or learning a new musical skill, it's always better to um, teach it through a piece of repertoire. So instead of just assigning a minor scale to a student, you want to assign a cool song or piece of music that includes that minor scale. It makes the learning process more fun, and then they get a piece of repertoire out of it. So that I still apply that to myself in the shop. Um, this included this piece, uh, this uh, instrument included me learning some new skills. So instead of just practicing those skills by themselves, it's more fun for me to include them in an actual instrument build. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's okay. Um, so this one included various new skills for me, and they kind of built on each other one after another till I came up with an instrument that I'm really proud of. Um, so to begin with, one of the new things I needed to learn was how to silver solder or braise um, brass hoops to make my own tension hoops and tone rings. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of research and study and talking to folks about it all summer. And um, this is the first instrument where I made my own tone ring and tension hoop. Uh, so, you know, I use silver solder for this. And this one's just a butt joint. I'm trying other ideas as well. But it went pretty well. I'd made the tension hoop and I made the little brass tone ring inside. Um, and then of I rolled it, brazed it, polished it, sanded it, everything. And then I also needed to learn how to darken the brass with a solution. So I thought I'd try it on this one. Um, this is like a, a mixture of muriatic acid and some other kind of acid. It was a pretty fun process and I think I'll offer it in the future if folks want this darkened brass look. So that was the second thing I tried. Also, um, uh, my son Henry and I collected walnut shells from our yard and we made some walnut hull stain or dye. And so I stained this goat skin head with the walnut shells from our yard. I also gave um, a batch of that walnut ink to um, someone up the road who, work, who uh, uh, owns a winery and she paints the labels for her wine. So I passed that ink on to her as well. So that was a fun process. Um, so I paired all this with a, um, a different rim than I normally would use. Instead of a, a shop made block rim, this is a th uh, thin laminated drum shell rim, um, and then I put a brass tone ring on top of it. So it's kind of a lighter weight, more old timey uh, vibe than my kind of more modern block rim construction I normally do. I went for a black lacquer, and then I black lacquered the bridge as well, of course. I only did six hooks and nuts on this one, just to go for a lighter weight vibe, kind of an old time banjo vibe. I made um, a cherry um, pistachio and maple neck and I thought it kind of matched the head here and I put black accents wherever I could black dots and then the, the pistachio fretboard kind of has a burnt look to it I really liked it so you know it adds up you know each one of those new things led to the next and it, before I knew it I was coming up with an instrument that made sense altogether in my opinion so yeah, this kind of lighter weight rim with the little brass ring sounds more like a true vintage banjo uke. It has a little less sustain and more high end, more chicka 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 to the tone. And I kind of like it. I've been having fun playing it this week. I'm having, some, uh, having to actually relearn how to record the instruments because the high end has been clipping out my camera. So sorry about that. Um, but I hope I think I got it now. So. This has got a little foam mute in it as well, um, just to cut down on the volume because it's pretty loud with that brass ring in it. But it's lightweight, it looks cool, it's pretty funky. I think I'm going to keep it for myself. Um, and if you want one like it, drop me a line and I will think about making another one with some of these features. Um, I haven't even stamped the number on it yet. Can you believe it? I better figure that out today. Um, but yeah, so that's maple, cherry, pistachio, stained goat, goat skin, black lacquer rim. Um, Concert scale banjo uke. I don't have a cool name for it, but I'm going to keep it, I think. Cool. 
Have a good one.